M0FXB, welcome to my channel. DSD Plus, a program for decoding digital items like DMRD star. So let's download by clicking the download section here, and this is the window we get. We'll also go to our file section here. So at the very bottom, you've got this yellow file. We'll click that, go to on the left, local disk C, click that. We need a new file, we're going to right click it. Go to new, then folder, and within that folder, we're going to call it in capital letters DSD. We have an empty file. We can just close that down. We'll click download DSD. We've got that there. We're going to click that and we're going to extract it to that same file. So we'll go extract to, and then we'll scroll down. We're going to find what we called DSD plus in our C drive. Let's click C here. And we're looking for those caps. There it is there, DSD plus. Click OK. That's good. And we'll just leave it. Well, no, we can close this. Let's go back to that file and click it. The DSD plus. And we'll just leave it to the right hand side here. Just sat there. Then we're going to go to the next line down, which is the DLL files here on the left. Click that. <clears throat> I'm going to let that open and I'm going to go back to that other file. Like so, and I'm going to click at the bottom here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Slide up. Just underneath then slide up. And I'm going to get my mouse and drag it onto those files. And so those files have now been put in here okay now I'm going to double click the DSD plus folder here and there you are that's all up and running the next thing we need to do is change some of the settings that are within this these parameters and it is confusing but if you look here where it says at the bottom look here about this far down it says audio input device and actually at the moment it's the right one it's it's saying cable output VB audio virtual so that's great uh, if it's different then we can change that and I'll show that in a, in a later section at the bottom here audio output device so that's that's going to be our speakers and that's already selected so we've got lucky here and it has found the correct ones so this is part one of the video. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, part two, but I will link all these videos together in one big video as well. But I think it's actually easier to do this in separate portions because it's quite overwhel overwhelming. Anyway, SDR Play, let's download the software. So just go to this link, link in description, go to software downloads, and on the right hand side here, you've got click link. Now I actually recommend you buy one of these products you can either get the str uno one it'll come up now which is you know it's very good has all the functionality of the other ones um, but it's the it's not the dx model it's not the duo duo model dx is has enhancements to do with dx and duo can actually receive run two versions of the software at the same time yeah, which is pretty good and on different bands. So that's the one I've got. Um, so the first one's about a hundred pounds, second one's about two hundred, and the, the super one is two fifty, which is the one I recommend. So get yourself that. But anyway, go to downloads. Now you can use other SDR dongles as well. You don't have to use that. So software downloads. Click I go to if you've just purchased an item, go to the start here and follow the prompts because that's the best way you can register and you get your backup and it's really good that way. Otherwise, if you just want to download the software, click here and click the Windows. For me, it's Windows at the top. They've got with downloads for Windows, Linux, at Linux and Macs. But for me, it's just Windows. So you just go click that and then just follow the prompts. Go to the bottom. You can download separate sections here, the plugins separately, or just do the whole lot, download SDR Uno, and it adds, it will load everything for you from this link here. And once you've clicked it, just go next, 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 and just download everything, okay? Just remember where you put, where you put it. Yeah, that's the main thing, is remember which file you've put it so you can find it. 
Anyway, uh, then go to this other link called VB Audio Virtual Apps and download this as well. Download the you know the software that's suitable for your computer. I just clicked the top one here, and then I just ran it. Double clicked here. See the 64xe. You've got a couple of options. I just ran the bottom one, and eventually we have this and it just appears and it just runs in the background. It's virtual audio cable, VB. So click that and run it as well. Just leave it running in the background. So that's part two. Yeah, just as an add-on, I find that the part where you have to change, if we just go here, yellow file, right click, copy the path, then go CMD, we've got CMD here, right click, administrator, yes. Then you paste the path, you know, right click paste and hit enter. And you've got this option where it all, it all opens up to decode, which is great, yeah. And now at this point, I've watched many videos and what they do is they put more commands in to change um, what the inputs and the outputs. If you look here, you've got audio input. Now mine is perfect because it's saying use the cable, the VB audio software, and they use the speakers to listen. So I, I find that if you run VB cable, cable first, that it puts in all the right ones anyway, so I'm gonna leave it as that. And so watch the rest of the video, bye for now. So we're on SDR Uno, we have been getting some decode. I've just turned off the decoder, so let's turn it back on. So click the yellow file at the bottom, or you can create yourself a shortcut. We'll go to the file first, local disk on the left here, where you where we put the file, the DSD plus file. Double click that, and you can, if you want to create a, a shortcut for this, just go right click, show more options, Go past create shortcut, go to send to, and then go to desktop create shortcut. So then you could you don't have to keep doing what I've just done then. Double click it and it's gonna start the decoder and it'll work, you know, start to come to life now. Now for me at the moment it's intermittent, it's working sometimes. Um, but when it does work, you get these windows, as you can see here, let's just shut this one down. See if there's any more windows there. Uh, this window as well. Now this window here, we can actually change what is actually happening to the audio. So I was lucky, just by default, it just, everything was in the right place, but I'll show you what we see. So it says here, audio input device is the cable output VB audio, and that's correct, because we need the audio to come from VB audio. The rest is, I didn't touch the rest of the speaker, this one here where it says audio output device, it's just my speakers on the computer. So that was nice and easy and it just worked. Now you can change these. I'm gonna try and do another video on how to do that. Uh, and I'll, it'll be in this, attached to this video. Let me just click escape for a minute. Oh, so we'll do that separate, how to actually go in and change those where you're going to send the audio. On the SDR Uno, you can see that when you open it up, it's all these small windows look, like so. And you get an extra window. If you press EXW here, you get this window. So just copy my settings. On this window, I just selected off. Up here is your frequency, or you can put the frequency here. VFOA is where my antenna is. You've got two VFOs on the, I've got the SDR Duo. Narrow FM, FM, noise blanker off, 15K hertz. On the audio, you right click, go to sound settings, and just make sure that your microphone is on the cable. The one here says cable out, that's your microphone, not your speaker. Okay, just do that as well. You can change your bandwidth here, if you want to, I just set mine about there. Um, I I think that's it. So I'll set up here. So on this window, you've got a little set, click set, and then go to out at the top and select cable input. That's something you've got to do. 
Everything else, I don't think I touched much else. Just looking around. And then it just came, so then when you do bring that back to life, the decoder, I'll show you my shortcut now, if you just minimize. I've been watching TechMind's video. I've actually been watching several videos. Um, they've all helped me some, so that's been great. And um, let's have a go now. There's my v VB audio that's running. Minimize that. Then you've got the, where is it? The shortcuts I've created here, just showing you. Doing the, so I double click the shortcut to do the decoding. And there's no one actually talking now, which is typical. So let's put that back on the STR Uno. And let's just, I've got my radio here. I'll just talk into it and see if you can hear anything. I'll unplug my hotspot. We just go, it's on the right frequency. M0 FXB test, test, test. You can see my signal there. M0 FXB M0 test, FXB. test, test, test. And that's me talking on a DMR radio. So I know it's a bit loud. Let's go a bit lower. Mic zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mic zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. M zero, see now you, you're not hearing it now. See the way it's a bit hit and miss. Well, just now it worked perfect. Where's my decoder? There's the decoder as I speak. M zero, FXB, M zero, FXB. So hopefully, oh, I know what I've done. Look, the frequency's changed. Don't, don't change the frequency. Five, four, same as my hotspot, but my hotspot is off. So let's do this again. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0, FXB. Yeah, so we're not really hearing much there. Let's turn it up here. And here you've got volume here, squelch. Mike Zero, Fox Drop, X-Ray Bravo, M0, FXB, M0, FXB. And it's saying overload there. So M0, I've got the RF gain there. Mike Zero, Fox. So I'll have a little play, see if you can work it out. It's, it's sort of hit and miss for me. I'm going to add this little video on how you change the parameters when you go into show the right window. Just find out oh, is the decoder turned on? Maybe that's why I'm not hearing anything. Too many things running on this computer. There's the decoder running. I mean, it's picking something up. You see, it's very active there, see that? Picking up something, let's try it again. Mic zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, the frequency's changed again. M0 FXB, test, 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 M0 FXB. So I think that's it for now, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, fun try. Oh, Kilo, Yankee, Four, Romeo, go. Try it again. M0 FXP, welcome. So we've got DMR decoding here on the SDR Uno and using a program called DSD Plus. Have a listen.